What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are sieging Esfahan and the garrison outside the city is deciding to sally and it's actually going to draw in both this force here and probably this one here because it's on it's just adjacent to the territory. This one looks like it might get away. But I think this is going to be a fantastic opportunity to really mince up a, a large number of Prussian troops. The Persian troops, sorry. So let's get into the action. And I think this is, well, we're going to push back the garrison, kill some of the mortars. We will then probably follow this up with an assault on the city. But then we also want to push some of our troops that are currently sat to the west, um, eastward, to secure Afghanistan and begin pushing into India because we are building up our forces near Nerun but the the Mughals are on the march so let's form okay let's put so I want to deploy back so that when their gunners work out they can't shoot at us they will just abandon their guns and come at us we do have an enemy. Uh, we do have enemy reinforcements coming in, but I'm not sure where. So I might actually hold back. Maybe, well, this many men for emergencies, plus a gun team. Now howitzers can deploy, probably firing round shot. We've also got our cavalry that can emergency redeploy for any upsets. Okay, they're all over in the distance. They're all, well, one of them is coming in from right at the back. Here they are. Oh, they both are. Sweet. Ah, helpful if I unlimber a few of my guns. 12 pounders unlimber from back here. My howitzers are both ready to rock and roll. So you want their Let's speed up time a moment. Just start to work on knocking a hole in the wall. But I would like their mortar crews to abandon their guns, please. That's what I want to see happen. And they should do it, because they'll work out they can't. Uh, they can't attack us in the manner that they would like. I mean, I might get one unit to quick climb the gate, because look at it. Only two guns, though. Oh, there we go. Fire. Oh, I don't think my... Oh, good. So we want to keep, yeah, my quick climb attack didn't really work so well. But let's take our curiosity air out to one flank. So I do want to... Okay, so it's, um, it's annoying that these guys haven't abandoned their guns yet. I might actually switch my howitzers to fire round shot and attack, just to see if we can persuade them to leave. My guns engage the troops as they leave the city. Go on, abandon your mortar. Oh, you're the general. That's why you're not going to abandon your mortar. Oh god, these are mortar, mortar men. <laughs> they carry their mortars with them. Push up. We can't let this can't let these guys kill us. So they're completely bugged, it's just the crews firing them off their howitzers. So immediately we need to push. They wiped out quite a lot of my troops there. Uh, you men need to run, not walk.
Ignore the camels. They only come on nomads, so they're not going to be shooting us. Knock out the mortars. That's the priority. Bring my cuirassiers up to help follow up at the uh, attacks on the, the wall. I might actually get these guys to keep attacking the the wall so that when we've got our shot we can get in so that, that camel mercenary unit would have done us a bit of good okay so let's begin pushing up our line we need to make some allowance for the troops on the flank So let's take you men push up these units. Well, they, my left flank, stretch them out a bit further. Push up my skirmishers. It looks like the garrison's going to be cracked. Let's get all my gunners to fire a round shot at the wall. Let's get our way in. Get our mortars to keep engaging the units that are sticking around. So we can probably push to hit those camel mercenaries. Okay. You men position like so. You men. Get up to the wall. And secure the fort. You men advance to cover the corner. Okay, let's get our how it's is engaging the armed populace on the flank because these guys only have swords so they could cause us a few issues with my skirmish troops cavalry is going to knock out the camel mercenaries the gate is open so i'm going to try and run my weakest oh can you not oh, okay the door's closed now maintain my infantry's position my oh my skirmishes are in the melee combat but fortunately it's only against armed populace so you can pull back a bit we could turn on skirmish mode but that can sometimes be a bit more hassle than it's worth more quick climb shots away yeah that's gonna hurt knock a hole in the wall rapido you men are engaging musketmen on the right flank there we go we can run my guys in now to secure the wall Keep a unit of cavalry out because you're about to get another unit of native lancers coming in. So both these two units drop into squares. So we're probably going to push back another unit of armed populace. But let's take two units and my two skirmishes and send them in there. Let's take two units and reinforce the right flank here. What I want to see is my troops up on the wall ready to man the guns against the enemy reinforcements. That's what I would like to see. It's all about finding the sweet spot to right click and drag. Okay, I just redeployed a unit. Okay, there we go. You men take position on the wall and it is you. 
No. It's the problem sometimes when the we're playing on these desert maps. The ground can just be too bright. So my curiosity had to knock down the musketeers, send my infantry to help better respond to the cavalry down there. We've won this flank, so let's advance around. <clears throat> So my cavalry's done a lot of damage to the 47th. There we go, that's seen them off as well. Those native lances are shattered. So then these men advance on the enemy. So let's speed up time, because right now it's just a bunch of infantry running up onto the walls. You actually aren't that useful. These three units up here should do some good. See all those guys are still routing, so these men are going to work their way around the fort. There we go. So right now the reinforcements coming in are heavily depleted. Kizilbashi musketeer units. So not anticipating huge issues there. My hope would... Okay, you guys, you have some guys stuck down the bottom. And they're stuck there. Excellent. Let's run my troops the final distance. My other wing advance. At speed. Okay, good. They, they stopped being stuck. So let's now take a bit of time to spread them out to the appropriate depth. So you men are supposedly firing at will. Oh, the gunners are going to shoot. Ah, there we go. Being fired upon from their own wall. Yeah, your fire will off. Everyone else should be opening up as they please. You men should take care of the camel gunners. All my artillery is left behind, but they are quite surplus to requirements. When the units are so small, like this, the main limiting factor is how fast my guys can reload to shatter the next unit. They've chosen to engage the wall. Bold, considering this regiment of foot is reloading, ready to pour volleys into... Uh-oh. You might get caught in the crossfire. Let's see if the officer gets it. Oh, the chap next to him did. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of bad news heading the Persians' way, but this is what happens when they try to stop me from dominating the world. I might just send these two units off to head off whoever comes in. Probably send a unit of guerrillas over here as well. You only need one unit to harass the flank. Fire into the flank of the 65th. <laughs> They're the last unit remaining on the field. Yep, yeah, so they've broken. They might even be... No, they've probably not deployed their entire army. Oh, they have. Excellent. Decisive. Decisive victory. Good stuff. So that is the uh, Persian capital defended. We've still got a good number of troops. Obviously, they have lots remaining, but that's from people nearby, and the garrison might not have suffered as big a losses. To be honest, we could actually just sit there and siege Esfahan. The main focus should be on expanding the the uh, this Indian pocket. Don't worry, Cherokee. Your time will come. Your time will come. 
Not my farms. Okay, let's upgrade the governor's building. Uh, Mr. Gannis is definitely going to hit this force here because it will drive away both of them and it will open our port up again because I've seen these fleet arrive symbols. So we're not going to do anything with them yet because we know... Well, we're going to fight a battle deliberately to make sure they can come in. Let's do a chunk of town upgrades in Europe. So with the offensive against Russia, we have captured quite a significant amount of territory quite quickly. So we don't need to focus on where we're spending our money because we have so much of it. Everywhere that can be upgraded is to be upgraded and that will be followed by roads probably at some point. Road upgrades. Actually, I might stop doing that because I can get a bit relentless. Got a couple of local upgrades near Petrovskaya. Mr. Roig, your force, can you leave Petrovskaya? You can. March on to Archangelsk. A lot of buildings here in Russia, in Moscow, that need to be repaired. So that should, you should really start to like us more, Russia, considering we've conquered your city. But what do we do? We just upgrade all of your buildings. Obviously, you need to be engaged as well. Let's upgrade things south of this river here because we've got it under control. You can advance and auto the remaining actions against this Russian army that we've already fought. Good stuff. So Mr. Cuesta, continue towards Astrakhan. This force to the north is going to advance towards Kazan. I'm counting on this chap, my field marshal of Europe, to sweep up um, us to the north and probably... Prob no, the force that takes Kazan will probably push on and hit Ufa. This force will take Ust and then drive south. Obviously we've got Tbilisi secured, but they don't really like us. Got some good upgrades here in Europe, in uh, the Middle East. Drop a bunch of cash upgrading our infrastructure. Well, our economy plus our infrastructure, which is in the process of being upgraded. Our bill was secured. So this Roig brother can upgrade, can be upgraded. Religious unrest 4 is quite big, so let's get a church school built. Plus a craft workshop. You have your mission, as do you. So Mr. Aguerto, you are after a QSCI unit from Baghdad. Which is going to go through a significant, uh, a significant amount of economic expansion. Good stuff. Same in Syria. Can't grade a pottery building in Jerusalem. Upgrade Alexandra. Yeah, this is kind of why you, it's so difficult to make sure you spend the money in the wisest fashion, because a lot of the time it doesn't matter. Although I now do not have much money. I will have even more next turn, 152,000. Um, that's okay. We'll maintain the siege here. Push this ragtag force north to face off against that force there. Send Mr. Aguerto to harry the road south. Mr. Reyes, advance and lay siege to Zahedan. Let them come after you, because we don't have the money this turn. Felix, engage Muzrat Jang and bring in the reinforcements that's currently raiding our port. Land our ships, open it up a bit more, then we can advance one south to Ahmedabad. Then one north to start to scout out Kabul. Um, but let's attack. This force is its pretty weak. Large component of 
militia troops. They've got some artillery, but the reinforcements aren't going to help either. Especially not against our elite force under the mighty Felix. We will mow them down, and then we will replenish. <laughs> well, land more troops and drive you know, one army south, one army north. Um, I do want to try and get... Well, I want to upgrade Nerun to be big enough to kind of try and funnel in reinforcement, tro reinforcing troops to the lead armies. Rain, rain no bueno. So let's just dump a load of my foot artillery to the f off to the flank. Set up a standard infantry line with the goal of being quite flexible. Combine my cavalry together, but make sure the units that are firing it can fire it will don't. Same on the right flank, got a light dragoon unit that will shoot out of the saddle. There we go. So, general in the center. Howitzers are going to engage as they please. Drive up my cavalry on the flanks, let my artillery just go ham on the enemy. Because all going to start hitting their guns and they've got troops behind the guns anyway. Especially as actually the quick climbing units are firing short. So they're relying on that area of effect thing going on. Bring up the general as well. General's bodyguard, horsemen, general's bodyguard. They are war elephants then coming in. Okay, let's push up some of our cavalry at a run. It's looking like we're going to need to augment the deployment, well, well adjust the deployment plan slightly. Same on the right flank though, but in a good way. So my regiment of dragoons send them to scout shooting the bowmen. Pistol shots. <laughs> Excellent. I was kind of hoping the dragoon well the, the dragoons would combine their fire with the infantry wipe out that bowman unit the same way that the this flank has just annihilated on the right the cavalry is going to stay flexible pull my light dragoons out aha you men form square same with the unit next to you because the general's bodyguards pushing not bothered by that massively. Get my conquistador to fire at will. Because they can engage that unit of dervishes that's heading right for them. Get some dragoons to skirt around the flank and hit the bowmen. Get my guardia to core to advance. Regiment of horse hit the musketeers. Conquistadors have fired their volley and charge the dervishes in. Get my light dragoons into the mix rapidly. They're just holding the Kizilbashi musketeers there. The elephants in the centre are holding, but my hope is if they can maintain the square for long enough. My Granaderos de Marina can pour some good volleys into their flank. Get all my field artillery to focus on that general's bodyguard to the rear. Okay, charge my dragoons into the fight against the Kizilbashi to give my regiment of horse a bit of support. It's looking like their general is going to at least collapse. 
but he has been broken, so let's form our line. He's meant to be pouring a volley fire into the bowmen. The Kizabashi there are falling back. Push my Conquistador into the levee. My Light Dragoons are having a good go at the bowmen. Push my Guardia to core up against the Zimandari horsemen. Howitzers are still dropping quick climb, so let's switch to round shot. Push up my infantry line. You man keep pushing. Swiss Grenadiers get involved in that fight there. You men pivot to face off against that infantry unit that's come back. Keep my infantry line driving north. Get my light dragoons over here. The Conquistador have done a real number on that unit of levy. There's another unit, that unit of dervishes has recovered. My Swiss Grens are going to hopefully charge the oh, ah, pikemen. Did not know that was the pikemen. In which case then, Grenadiers isn't necessarily the best idea. Let's just send everyone up, except you. Like, except, except you, I said. Push up to destroy the General's bodyguard with a volley fire. Good, they've all collapsed. Good, so you men position, get my artillery to engage the musketeers as well. They're routing. Okay, these are the reinforcements coming in. So my infantry is pouring volley fire into the general's bodyguard, but because it's raining we have more of an issue around sound problems that definitely seems to be a link so the generals are there the, the bowmen are going down fairly rapidly if they don't go down soon yeah so these men can focus on the musketeers killing the musketeers alone general's bodyguards about to rout there's another unit unit of musketeers is returning from routing so let's get all of our guns against the musketeers enemy general's bodyguard well the enemy general has been slain i suspect that's this guy coming in to reinforce oh no it was the actual general's bodyguard so let's speed up time a little bit because we're going to have this unit of guardia decor charging into the kizobashi musketeers and that will probably be enough to make them rout. 44th Dakili will soon be no more after being beset on all flanks. Ah, they came back. It's another unit that's come back. And these guys are trying to run past my infantry line. They want to try and get involved and save the 44th, but that is no more. I mean, they are holding on quite well, especially as they wavered, and then they decided to come back, and then they wavered again. The Regiment of Horse have done really well to stay alive, or to stay on the battlefield for so long. Not necessarily to stay alive. Good, that unit routed as well. So ends this rainy nightmare. So much so we're not even going to chase them down. All we wanted to do was make them leave our port alone. So you've been pushed back, as have you. Ooh, you can... Ooh, I don't know why you decided to route up through the hills. Maybe it's because you're going after the guy to the rear. Doesn't matter though, because... We're going to send you to that port there. Although it's exposed. Aha, they have another army there. So we can't just land and push. 
But we've opened the porto. So Miguel Capitello. His army can get ashore. And Federico de Suria can also advance. Potentially with his grenadiers draw car infantry guards. Okay, well his first action, we're going to take Mr. Capitello away so he won't get involved. You're going to auto... Oh, just the bowman. And auto the remnants of that army. You can just about fully replenish. You were fully replenished as well. Good, that worked out rather well. So you're going to swing around to the north. Maybe Felix might push on aggressively to Kabul. I mean, Tito, you need to get involved, but right now we want to get this upgrade to a govern to a, a military governor's barracks. We're sieging Zahedin, that should draw them out. Recruitment report. Okay, let's maybe check out the recruitment report. So you're going there. I'm pretty sure sometimes it seems like in this campaign doesn't normally happen, but things lose orders. If you give them a, a long mission, they will eventually just stop and go, eh. This force here in Munich under Mr. Cervante. You're going to advance to Brest and to be ready to be, to be deployed to Reykjavik. Because we have a force here that is just aching to have a go at Copenhagen. You're actually recruiting anyway, so you don't have to move. We have an agent all the way back here who is going to try. Give him an order to go to Nagpur. Let's see how many turns it takes for us to catch up to that. All of our various... All of our various successful missions. Workers rioted in um, Tbilisi, but they're okay now. Done both these fleet arrives. We've done the building. Felix has become a brave soldier. Tito has become a superior general. And a corporal in gold braid. Good for him. And Frederico de Soria has been mentioned in dispatches. That's the, this guy. Awesome. Let's hit end turn. Our spies continue to see the way clear for our men. We didn't really do much in the Eastern Front against Russia. But nevertheless, we must endeavour to continue. We'd capture the remaining... Oh no, that army! The Russian army! Nadges! There's a particular Russian army I meant to engage. That one! That one right there! <laughs> uh, ooh! <laughs> hmm... It's not mad to try and stop it. Because, <laughs> well, they can mob us. Ah, what the hell, let's try it. <laughs> it's a quest There's a question around, do I put my um, artillery outside the walls? That could work. But it would draw in the enemy... We were drawing the enemy cavalry earlier. Do we have a breach? No. To be honest, I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy my mortars behind the line. Firing quick climb at whoever they like. And my gunners are going to deploy up front. Okay, my howitzer might have to fire a round shot off the bat. But I've got my gunners deployed my my gunners deployed up front. To uh, entice them within range of my infantry on the walls. So we're speeding up time. Okay now. You men can begin engaging. 
Okay, now my heart is fire. Quick climb. Canister shot. So we're blasting the 54th with canister shot. We've got quick climb shells firing. Yeah, they're coming in. It's a, it was a risky move. The idea is at least maybe our gunners might be able to do some work. You men aren't firing on mass, so I'm going to turn fire off and then back on again. You've pushed away that unit of guerrilla mercenaries. Musketeers are trying to fire. Pushed back the guerrilla mercenary unit. These. This militia unit shouldn't asterisk last for very long. So I think what it's going to come down to is can we. Well, first of all, we're going to try and. Mob the, mob the enemy. Guard mode on. They're trying to make their, they're trying to get their way, break their way in. It's a couple of units that are a bit scary, but they should asterisk struggle. Those and mortars aren't attacking my own friendly units. When did these guys move? Some units move when you gave them orders. Let's speed up time on this, because ultimately, if we don't, nothing's going to happen. Unfortunately, we've not made anyone route yet, but also in a good way. Okay, right, let's cease our gunners. We'll make them attack someone further out, because they were dropping shells a bit too close for comfort. So get in there and push down or we'll kill those men trying to climb the walls. Fortunately, the marines are at the back of this. So it's all going to be fairly repetitive. Good. Got one unit. Ooh, one unit was wavering. Our guys are... S one of them is shaken. No, when you're defending and I'm trying to take you out, cease my guns from firing in case they're doing anything to upset my men. Good. Two units have routed. Grenadier Regiment is wavering, but sticking to their guns. The Marines aren't quite so nice, but it looks like they are going down pretty quick. Yeah, the Marines are upset. Down to the militia. They've gone. So the end result is just pick my guys, get my guys on the guns, and uh, try to take them out with long range gunfire. You guys, if you guys even man the guns appropriately. Huh. Well, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to ch I'm going to uh, chop the recording here and bring you guys back at the end 
and they hit when something, well, when, when we eventually win. Because they've got one gun, which if we can knock out, is, uh, will be gone forever. So yeah, see you guys in a second. So it would appear the AI's strategical thinking is knows no bounds. Their artillery has destroyed a section of the wall. But their one gun is determined to attack my mortars, so much so they actually destroyed the gates. So the cavalry have a way in, but the problem is, is they are too... Oh, they might, just maybe they're actually bugged. Because they can get in. This gun is now after the bastion, but the battle is soon to be over. Where we will be the victors, because we still hold the town. So even though, well, there must have been a bug. They've got a way in. They had troops that could have attacked, but they elected not to. And, yeah, their attacking force has fallen upon its own sword. Demarain, New Spain, the end will soon come for you as well. Interestingly, they elected to... I got, so one force is heading towards Ardeville, and two forces heading towards Ardeville, probably to raid. And get up to no good. You can see the, the stacks of Mughal troops on their way. So those will need to be engaged and destroyed. Don't worry, Cherokee. We're going to come sort you out. So. Maroon is now fortified. You're still sieging here. We can repair the port. Let's upgrade. Keep the roads upgrading. So Mr. Cardenas, who's been guarding Naroon for us. And I'm going to rec recruit those two colonial militia again, because they just because they look cool. You're going to maintain the hold of the bridge. You may have some business soon, which will be useful. Um, let's send... Let's send this splinter force to the north of this force here, and then attack it there, and then auto-resolve that. Can the Ardabil garrison leave Ardabil? That's the question. It can! And it can clear out that raiding force here. Good stuff. So you men break the university here at Tehran. You men... Stay where you are. Wait for Fon Fo Oh my god. Fonzie. It's literally Fonzie. It's a this guy needs an army. God, Fonzie. You know what? You need to be dispatched to Spain. You need an army. A proper army, Fonzie. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we're going to maintain siege at Esfahan, keep you guys uh, see, uh, besieging the enemy there. We don't have to, we now don't have to spin around and send these guys over towards that Russian army so you can get down to Crimea, where two sixth rates, two sixth rates will await you, will, await, will, will be waiting. And to, to give you speedy passage to the main Indian front line. Probably Mr. Nadal will also join you. Nerun is upgrading. Mr. Roig is still on the march. Kazan now has a garrison. But I don't think it will be enough. Very well. We will take the city of Kazan. The garrison failed to surrender, so they must pay the price and see what the outcome is for all enemies who stand against the Spanish Empire. We can soon mop up the Russians, and then we... Well, we really do need to start expanding that uh, bridgehead we've got in India. 
especially if we start to see more troops coming from the south. Put all my guns up on the hill. Form up our line. Form up a very long line. Advance and wrap around the enemy. Cavalry just chill out. Aha, uh -huh, actually, it might be a bit more tactical than that, because there's a bit of a terrain mismatch there. Send a line cavalry around the flank to engage the infantry there in long range musketry. Send more th three more units to push up the front, but we do want part of our formation to make haste around the flank. So let's get our howitzers to support the back the units that are about to get engage engaged in action the soonest. Oh, it went for that one guy on the flank. You men push up and engage that unit, particularly these other units push up to prevent yourselves from getting trapped trying to advance up the slope, including these depleted engineers. If they want to get involved in some melee combat, they're more than welcome to get these guys. Oh, you might have to go all the way around. There. Pivot. Get those volleys firing. We've killed the enemy general. Pursue. Oh no, wait, those are Russians there. My mistake. Oh my god, they've all just collapsed. Very well. These two units can attack ground with quicklime. Although they've only just fired, so they're not going to be super useful. You men pivot to face the enemy. Let's get the 58th running around the flank. Splitting my foot artillery off. I think my howitzers might have shot. They did. Look at that. Precision artillery fire there. Obviously, when that last unit routed, another unit came back. And another unit came back. They're all coming back. It's, this is a conspiracy, that's what this is. It's just a big damn conspiracy. And everybody's in on it. And my line cavalry upset the fourth. The artillery fire is likely to do some, some further mischief. Oh yeah, the line cavalry shooting in the rear was enough. Yeah, run you guys up like so. You in advance like that. Line cavalry. Push up behind them, although I doubt they will be alive for that long. The second regiment of foot has been routed. A brave stand, but at least they did not die to a man. You can go back to your farms, continue your fruitful employment just under new territory. Under new management, I should say. There you go, Jean Mazdeur. Kazan is ours. Go back and secure your um, fur trapper posts. Let's upgrade the farms. We want to share the wealth of the land with you, Russia. 
Mr. Cuesta, continue pushing on towards Astrakhan. I mean, Mr. Kiroga here will likely not be able to leave Georgia for s yeah, six turns. Keep upgrading there, we can take Taki. Mr. Sanchez is sat here waiting to jump onto Cherkask. These units are all repairing, except for you. Do some more spending on our economy. So you're all good, you're all good. You... So this has been pointed out to me, I need to get rid of that demi cannon. To be honest, actually, because you've got bugged artillery, you don't really need another artillery unit. You need a heavy cavalry unit. Because demi cannons are slow. Apparently they're slower than regular foot artillery, so... Lugging them around late game. Uh, you're actually penalising your troops. You're penalising your army because they're not able to make as decent speed as they normally would be. Okay, let's get you over to the coast as well. Repair the iron workshops here in Yogava. I mean, to be honest, I don't really care about the Russian fleet. Arturo Cruz. You men. Make all speed to India. Now we've got this force here. The bunch more buildings that can be upgraded. Big believer in upgrading behind the front lines, because you never know when you need to stand up an army immediately. You're reinforcing them. I'm sure where your reinforcements are coming from, then. I'm sure that I thought they were for you. Oh well, let's bring you down to Spain as well. Oh, that's where they were coming from anyway. I see. Keep the upgrades going. Okay, that's enough. Good. I mean, I should really attack. Mod term, we've also got... Oh, I remember. I remember you. So which ship doesn't have him in? Have the army in? Yeah, Jamie de Zara. You also make your way to India. Great, a couple of farms. But I think that's probably everything we want to do. See, the Danish are readying a small fleet. Well, a small okay-ish fleet. They know what's coming. They know what's on the way. Um, but let's sit in turn. Our armies and units that have orders will continue to advance. Uh, the reason why I want to put, bring them back to Spain is because Spain actually have some quite interesting units that can be recruited from from um, Madrid itself. So that's why I want to get the armies back to Spain to be upgraded and then sent. Yeah, that army that sat near Thessalonica... That's going to be my Malta invasion force, so I'm not worried about moving that yet. Yeah, Russia desperately trying to find any sort of <laughs> any sort of um, educational building to steal as much tech as they can. They will find it sooner or later. Finally, New Spain's oh, they lost against that Persian fleet. Bad luck, New Spain. Or maybe they no, they probably didn't win. Just bringing in all its troops. The Mughal Empire might push that army within range of... Ah, close, but no cigar. Punjab. Punjab has rebelled against the Mughal Empire. Interesting. Yeah, lots of raids. New town emerges. Sejed in Hungary. 
probably butchered the pronunciation there. Construction report can mostly focused on making sure the roads are up to snuff. Because most of these upgrades we can just pick up as we do our usual admin around Europe. Ooh, Munich doesn't like us. Minus one though. That can be solved with some militia. Upgrade these buildings in Prague. Fundamentally, I just dislike seeing the hammers. <laughs> I just want to get rid of them. Steam dried arc. Now there's a Russian fleet in the Adriatic, but then again, they're not really doing much damage to me. They are raiding, but I'm not. It's not so critical to me that I need to deal with it right this moment. It behooves me to keep Lisbon upgraded. Bernardo Calabar. Let's keep the the troops that are marching towards me on their way. So let's begin to get some of these forces shipped over to... Whoop. Ah, okay. So we need to relay them. So relay them out to here near Gibraltar. Shouldn't be at much risk there. Off waiting at anchor. Now you're gonna bring another sick right across. So let's get both of these guys across. Then up here, got a couple more, few more actually buildings that can be upgraded. It's not going mad though because I do want to come down here and do a bit of that uh, expansion that I discussed. So let's go hit this force here. Push them east, then we can at least block off this river, this crossing point here. So, Shaista Pani, your force is about to get destroyed by Spanish arms. Well, many Spanish arms, more than one. <laughs> that would be particularly impressive to watch him man and fire a musket. We're going to push another Mughal army away. And this is something we need to, we should really be... We need to do as and when the opportunity presents itself, especially when the terrain is actually quite beautiful to do it. So our infantry and Regimento de Soria are going to be in the centre. Let's put my Royal Cairo Infantry Guards on the right flank. Let's put my Grenadera de Marina on the left. My Walloon on the left. My gorillas on the right. Pikemen near my near my gorillas, because that's where they usually get they usually gravitate towards my skirmishes. General can watch from this high point. So and lay moths moths to the flame. Camel nomads on the flank are heading this way. Run my heavy cavalry up to threaten those camels on the left. Keep my gorillas hidden. OK, 
Okay, let's hit that unit with my howitzers instead, because I don't want to run my cavalry too far across my front. See, they always know. Fortunately, the unit to the rear killed a unit to the front. Go on, gorillas, fire a volley! I wanted them to fire a volley, because that would be pretty neat at close range. But my Tercio Pikes will provide the cover that they need. You men cease fire. Hold position. Form square. Get my skirmishers. Oh, I was about to get my skirmishers up front, but there's no matter because they have been repelled. So my line continue their advance. Make my howitzers engage pretty much whoever they like. I hear charging noises. Must be going after some of my Royal Cairo Infantry Guards, even though they are hidden. You look like you're up to no good. Gorillas have popped off a volley against the Camel Gunners. We've returned fire. Their flank is now advancing at speed. Cuirassier engage the Sikh Musketeers. You men all run. So my Marines my grenadiers are going to start the ball rolling on the left flank. On the right flank, it looks like we might have gained a temporary advantage. Our Sikh warriors are charging in. Go on, the 46th reload. Oh. They've been pushed back. There we go, my cavalry's knocked out a unit of Seek Musketeers, so they're going to pursue them and destroy them. Let's get my general over here. My field artillery's probably focusing on the howitzers a bit much. The Royal Cairo and Jugard are slamming volleys into the enemy. I'm probably going to get all my guns focusing on something like the General's Bodyguard or something on the battlefield rather than their artillery. They're quite well dug, di dug in. Who's that back there? Sea Quarriers. Gotta be careful because they still might charge. My main line is engaging the enemy magnificently. All that artillery trying to go after the general's bodyguard. Get my general to finish off that unit. My heavy cavalry can come in and hit the Kizilbashi on the left. Okay, my Corso Terrestre guerrillas can continue to pick off the units as they flee. Kizilbashi Musketeer unit is likely to cause problems. Well, <laughs> have problems caused upon it. Won't really significantly change my actions in this battle. Okay, good. So push up these troops here to threaten the General's bodyguard. Ideally, the next volley of gunfire should do a lot of damage. 
The only people that aren't routing are the... Uh... Oh, here they come. The bouncing shot killed two elephants. Okay, so let's give these men orders to attack the guns. Ceasefire, my howitzers. Aha, I see your game. Let's walk around these chaps. Oh, you may as well chase down the general's bodyguard. Oh, there's a unit of Kizilbashi that have returned. There we go, killed their general. Chase down the mortars, by all means. There we go, we killed the last gunner. I think pursuing the enemy might just be a bit more, more frustrating than anything. All of my guns, attack this unit! So all of them there, pivoting over to face the new enemy. How it is fired. So this is about to... Bad things are happening, especially as my foot artillery is just fired. They didn't like that. <laughs> Excellent. So that's one more Mogul stack that has bit the dust. And then we will probably... Hopefully it doesn't call in. No good. There we go. So that's killed. A Mughal stack. So then you, good sir, can push and secure the bridge. Or the crossing. This building here can be... Well, this can be upgraded to a church school. Because there's no point upgrading this one because they're too isolated. You're still sieging Zahedin. Give Felix an order to advance with all speed towards Kabul. Because it could be possible we might actually be able to end the uh, enemy's... Uh, end the enemy's uh, push. Well, existence, actually, in the case of Persia. I don't know what I'm talking about. We might be able to take Kabul, Zahedin and Esfahan in one set series of lightning attacks. And I might actually, because I'm building a church school now, send my Catholic missionary... Ooh. Onward into enemy lands. Begin the conversion towards Catholic. Um, in terms of elsewhere... I mean, that's... I mean, that's an auto, let's be honest. Upgrade the roads there. Then up here at Archangels. That could be a fight, because at least there's some units here, plus a reasonable garrison. Send one of my spies up to Komi, and one of them over to Ufa, just to see what we're dealing with. But in general, I think I might... Actually, I know what I'm going to do. So the problem is, I won't do it unless I force myself to do it. I'll forget. So let's end this episode by deploying troops off the coast of Corsica. Don't call my allies in. Come on, deploy. So, theory is, if I hit end turn, <laughs> we will hopefully end on them. Uh, either sallying to attack me, or someone will attack me, I'm sure. Yeah, bring our troops west. Just so I can more easily manage what the heck's going on there. So you are getting to your army successfully. But yes, Russia. <laughs> I mean, Salamanca is the only place they can actually steal my research from, so it looks like that's where they're all heading. 
I mean, what are they going to achieve from it? I don't really know, because the, the end is soon upon them. We may get attacked by Persia, we may get attacked by the Mughals, but if not, we're probably almost definitely going to be attacked by Genoa. Yeah, there we go. A second sally. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time pretty much exactly where we started. Uh, the Siege of Esfahan, but hopefully this might be the end of the Persian capital. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.